you are welcome to the part seven of this uh, teaching by myself, your brother Moses Ojo Chenemi, God special on the dying church and the ongoing Islamization of Nigeria. We are looking at why do we see that the church is dying. So this is what we are trying to bring out now. I pray the Lord will bless you richly as you listen. In the name of Jesus, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get more messages from us. The Lord bless you. You can also check our website, www.globalchristianupdate.org. The Lord bless us. You which had a sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works. Sister, I know your works. Again, I know your works. I know what you are doing. I know what is happening. <laughs> and where thou dwellest. And where thou dwellest. Mm -hmm. Even where Satan sits. He says where? He says where does Satan sit? Satan sits. <sighs> Too many problems. Let's say Christian is dying. So when you are dwelling, who seat is there? The seat of Satan is right there. No wonder our sisters, our girls, they cannot live holy life. No wonder. No wonder. Eh? And thou holdest fast my name, mm -hmm. and hast not denied my faith. Mm -hmm. Even in those days, when in Antipas was my faithful Matthias, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Hmm. But I have a few things against I have a few things against Because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, oh, Bella. Mm -hmm. who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. So what he's saying is that Balaam was a prophet. Balaam taught Balak how to do so that people can walk, so that the believers can stumble, because people can stumble. Why a lot of people are not living holy life today because of the, the word, the prophets? There are many people that are what? That are causing people to stumble. Too many of them, too many of them. Who taught what? Who taught Balaam was a prophet? He taught Balak to do what? To put this stumbling block for gospel. See, this first prophet, they have made many to stumble out of the way of righteousness. That person said, He's dying. Imagine a bed, I mean, a call of this nonsense they're preaching. That once you are born again, if you like live in sin, fornicate, commit adultery, no matter again, just to they come to church, they speak in tongues. What the nonsense of the pit of hell. Many have stumbled. Many are now professional, professional sinners because of this nonsense that is going on. There are too many nonsense going on. That was saying that Christianity is dying in Nigeria. So many nonsense everywhere. Confusion. This one say this is the video. That one say don't mind them. God, no, they look at the at the outer. It's the heart. God, they look. Just dress as you are. Just dress. Look sweet sixteen. Ah! Church pastor tell them dress well. They will look at pastor and see pastor is an enemy of progress. Pastor, you own too much self. You know, you know, like us at the dress, the shine. Nonsense of nonsense. There is too much confusion today in church. No standard. Many have been made to stumble because of what? Because of what? Because of the teaching of what of this Balaam pastors and, 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 and prophets and evangelists and uh, Balaam uh, apostles and bishops and all those nonsense everywhere. That's why we are saying the church is what? The church is dying. The church needs urgent rescue. You need what? Urgent rescue. You know, the man called Lazarus was placed in the tomb. He was not yet covered. Jesus told them, let us go and wake him up. The Bible says he spoke of his death. The church has not been buried yet. There is a hope of word of resurrection. That is what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. Are you hearing that The prophet was the one that was enticing them to do what? To live immoral life. It's okay, let's go to the next thing that is wrong with the church. As I begin the one, number, I think that is number three. Cool. Let's look at number 14, wrong with the church. The spirit of Jezebel. There is the spirit of, there is a Jezebelic spirit in church. Enticing pastors and members into sexual immorality to in today's church. Sexual 
immorality is a sign of the death of Christianity. Most pastors today and ministers are trapped into sexual immorality. When you read Revelation chapter 12 from verse 18, it talks about that, about sexual immorality. There are one, there are a pastor, a young man was telling me recently. He said the pastor met him, and the pastor was telling him that this one that is helping himself, that uh, he would help him so that he can get money quickly. A pastor. He said, How? He said, All you need to do is say, I'll take you to a place. If you go to that place and come back, all you need to do is to just be sleeping with ladies any, everywhere. And the more you sleep, that is how tall I'll be, be opening to you and be making more money. A pastor. A friend of mine, a pastor. So one day, a pastor called him in the evening. Now, you should come, come. He said, so, so where are you? He said, come. He went to the place. There. He saw, he came, he met a lot of pastors. Put chairs, put everything. I'm not trying to despise pastor. I'm talking about what is wrong with the Nigerian church. And this is a fine mostly in Pentecostal, where I'm coming from. Mostly in Pentecostal. Mm-hmm. And then he saw pastors, all of them, they were drinking alcohol. And then they soon. And then they were telling him that this is where pastor used to come and relax. Even from Abuja, I can do now. They come from Abuja to come and relax. And then in that place, he said, if you want, there are babes there for you to go and enjoy yourself. Pastors. <laughs> a, 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 a man of God went to a church to go and preach. Why he was preaching? God said, hold it, you are in the wrong place. He said, this place where you are, he said, in this church, some of the some of the uh, men there, they are sleeping with other people's children. And some are even sleeping with their own children. And the pastor is sleeping with church member, and the wife of the pastor is sleeping with other church member. His, his mouth was heavy, he couldn't talk. You know, you know in case of telling God, will tell you, your mouth will go heavy. <laughs> so, this pastor, God said, don't talk until when you make another call. You won't talk to that guy. Kind of you come, pastor, church, you come, you the pastor. You want to know the pastor, the sleeping church member. He was sweating and struggling. He had to obey God. See, this is what God is saying that there are some men here that are sleeping with their daughters, their own daughters in church. And some of the men here that are sleeping with other people, that there is the church is ravaged with immorality. He said, even the pastor wives sleep with members, and even the members, even the pastor sleep with other members. Sir, the power of God came high. Nobody could reject it. All of them came out. I threw you talk. This is what is happening in this church. There is high level of sexual immorality going on into this church. The Bible says that whoever defiled God's body, what will God do? God will destroy. Now, I think we read that place. Now, home three, four. Read this morning. Do we read now, home three this morning? Now, home 3, verse 4 this morning. He says, It is through wisdom that nations are destroyed. Through sexual immorality. There is high level of sexual immorality going on in the church today. Anywhere where there's high, where there's immorality going on, God is not in that place. Because immorality is used in the worship of the Queen of Heaven. The marine, the queen of the coast. This is their greatest, this is their greatest ritual. Amen. Whenever immorality is reigning, the queen of the coast is at work there. Yes, marine kingdoms. Marine kingdoms, they are at work there. Marine powers are at work there. Everyone saying the church is dying. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to stop because of time. I can't finish it. Amen. So let's read one scripture and then we'll close. I don't want to keep you long today. Can we look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14? Ephesians 5, 14. Ephesians 5, 14. If you are there, you read for us. Ephesians 5, 5 verse 14. <coughs> verse 14. Yes. Where, wherefore? Wherefore? He said, he said, Awake, Awake. thou that sleepest, thou that sleep. and arise from the dead, and, arise and from Christ the dead. shall give thee light. And Christ shall give thee light. Revelation chapter 3, let's read the last few verses of it. To read the last few verses of Revelation chapter 3. Maybe you read from, maybe, maybe from verse 20, let me see. 
Revelation 3 from verse. Okay, read from verse 19. And okay, sorry. As many as I love, mm. I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. Mm. Behold, I stand at the He says what? He said the what? He, he said, as many as I want, as I love, I do what? I do what? I chastise them. What is happening to us, brother, sister? What is happening to Nigeria is what? It is called divine chastisement. God is what? All we are passing through is what? Is chastisement. He says, as many as I love, I chastise them. He said, be what? Be serious and what? And repent. Uh -huh. Behold, I stand at the door. He says, behold. The case is not over for the church. He is saying that behold, I do I stand at the door and I walk and I am and I knocking. <laughs> if any man hear if my voice, any man hear my voice and open the door, and open the door, I will come into him. I will come into and I will sup with him. And I will sup. And he with me. He with me. Hallelujah. I don't know whether you are here. You are one of the problem of the church. You can see that. I don't know you are here. I'm not talking about the church, I'm talking about all of us together. God sees the church as his body. Only one man called Achan in Joshua chapter 1 committed sin. The whole nation paid for it. One man. They went to the battle with Ai and then Ai defeated Israel. And Joshua knew something was wrong. And Joshua came to the Lord crying, Oh God, what have, have mercy. The Lord said, You have brought their costings. Our daughter has gone to bring her costings. Pastors have brought their costings to the church. Why would Jehovah not leave the church? And Joshua cried to the Lord. My brother, the survival of this country is in my hand and in your hand. We're going to close with Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20. Close to Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. The Lord is looking for people that will fight the good fight of it. He's looking for vessels, those who will stand, who will say, God, no, Nigeria shall not be taken over. There are nine verses that the Lord will need to be able to stop Islam from taking over Nigeria. Nine verses. And one of the capital verses Nigeria that God will need for Islam to take over Nigeria is tied to is called the Battlers Intercessors. And that was why I love that man of CAC, the late Apostle Palola. I learned one day that that man went to visit him, a, a, a family. And while he was there, they said, Baba, Baba was praying for them to eat. And while that man was praying, it was recorded in history that they were praying. He was standing praying. He prayed, 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 prayed. The people got tired. And then they sat down and they were eating and he was still praying. They went to bed. They came back in the morning. He was still praying. And then they went to their farm. They came back to the farm. He was still praying. Standing in one position, he was still praying. And then after they finished, they prepared lunch and ate. And then it was night. Behold, he was still standing and praying. And they went to bed. And woke up the following day. Baba was still praying till the third day. Land away. He went to he went to the king of Elisha to give him a portion of land to build church. The man went and showed him an evil forest where no man have stepped to before. He said, carry it and build your church. When the Baba got up with his bear and carried some of them, some of his people and followed him. And immediately Baba... We are going to finish up this uh, this exposition in the in the last part of this uh, teaching. Brethren, there is a great work to be done on ground. We really need... There is great work. In uh, my book titled The Coming Prophetic Class of Islam, I took time by the wisdom the Lord gave to me to explain about these nine prophetic battle axes that are needed to, to collapse the caliphate and to collapse Islam. It's all there, brethren. It is, we, God is, why we are waiting for the Lord to do something, the Lord is waiting for us to do something. The survivor of the church in Nigeria is in our hands. As a matter of fact, God is looking up to us. The Lord is calling us because he said, you are my battlers and the weapons of my warfare. He said, with you will I destroy nations and kingdom. The destiny of this nation is the hands of the Christian. Beginning from the ministers of the gospel. That must change their message quickly. 
God bless us. Turn into the last uh, message.